Hello everybody, my name is Rose and I welcome you to the Rose Taracool. Today we'll be doing June 16th to the 30th reading for Taurus. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100%, okay? Now, if this is the case, please do not hesitate to watch the videos for your Moon, Rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Finally, I thank God, I thank Source, I thank the Universe, I thank all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to finally share my gifts with you all. If you like my readings, please do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So Taurus, let's get started. I've meditated, prayed over and blessed your cards. Shuffle them and they are ready for a reading. Hold on, that's my fur baby's grumbling and moaning. Alright, she seems to be fine. Right, so let me lay out your cards and see what message Spirit has for you today. For the time window of 15 days, it might differ according to your own timelines. Depends where you are at the moment in this reading. Okay, we are now ready. Let's take a look. Which one? Yes. Okay, I'm lit with this deck. So let's start. Just give me a moment. Let me take a look at your cards. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, ooh, mm. all right, looks like in the past, hmm? there was difference in opinions in your relationship, there was a lot of toxic behavior, maybe there was a lot of control issues by the looks of things, hold on, let me get the cards into focus so that you can see, right. So there may have been a lot of toxic behaviours but looks like the both of you blamed each other for your toxicities and now somebody is really really pissed off. Somebody was really really pissed off and there was a lot of aggression. Yeah. There was a lot of aggression in the situation because somebody was so controlling. Mm. That may have been the toxic behavior. One of the partners in that relationship was really, really controlling. So this has pushed the other par partner away. Yeah. The other partner was contemplating to leave the situation to relieve the relationship and to walk away right to walk away and to serve themselves so let's see what's happening yes so one of you walked away from the relationship yeah you took a final decision to walk away from this relationship you needed a lot of strength yeah you went in words 
he contemplated. He went in words, he contemplated. He looked at your past, thinking about all that you put inside this relationship. Yeah? All that you put inside this relationship. And you're looking back. So, looks like that was the end of that relationship. I said it and it popped out. The angels are speaking, darling. So, that was the end of that relationship, darling. The end. Yeah. Anyways, let's take a deeper look at it. <clears throat> Hmm. He moved away. He made a decision to move away. Somebody here made a decision to move away from all the toxic behavior and all the controlling that was going on in the relationship. Probably someone in the relationship was really smothered. Yeah? That person really felt smothered. Anyways, you've moved away from that relationship and you are currently in your power, but, but darling Taurus, what is going on? You keep looking back, yeah, did you move away in a hurry? Did you move away in a hurry? But anyways, since you made a decision to move away, yeah, or somebody made a decision to move away, they got their power back. Yeah. They have left the controlling situation and they have got their power back. They are stabilizing themselves, but looking back at all the time wasted, at all the love wasted, at all the emotions wasted. So looking back at the times, yeah, that were good and that were bad. And they're trying to move away from troubled waters and trying to find their balance. Mm -hmm. And you're feeling all good in yourself. Once you find your balance, you, whoa. Once you find your balance, you'll be all good in yourself. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on work. You're keeping yourself busy. But you still feel, feel stuck. There's something that's troubling you. And there's something that's keeping you stuck. You're advised to have a little bit of patience. Everything will be revealed in time. Don't you worry. Hmm? Don't you worry. Your advice. In the meantime, to heal yourself and find your balance. It's just being mentioned here, repeatedly. Find your balance. Thing is, you both, you both are comfortable where you are. Now I'll tell you what, there will be a small offer made to you, okay? That it's a very stable offer. The other person is a very stable person. Oh dear God, you keep talking about it and it comes out. Mm. You both actually are quite stable people. So maybe you all needed this time out. Away from each other to find your balance within yourselves. There was some behavioral tendencies, yeah, that needed to be corrected in this relationship. It's clearly stating one of the issues was control. Probably there was, you have this guy in reverse over here, yeah? So there was probably spitefulness, vengefulness, or something of the sort, conflicts, you know? 
one of the persons may have been very con uh, like deep in conflicts so every time you had a disagreement there was a big conflict so the universe came in between you and gave you all a break yeah it put its pause button on and gave you a break but I can see you both are stable individuals hmm? Don't worry, darlings. You will get another opportunity. It's repeatedly saying here that you will get another opportunity. Even though it was done with in the past and he moved away. So you both are in your separate corners at the moment. Developing on yourself. Developing on your internal side. Getting stronger spiritually. Getting stronger individually. You know, correcting the wrongs because now that you're apart, you can see what you have done wrong, and that other person can see what they have done wrong. They are understanding the situation so much more better, both of you, from what I can see here. And you are given another opportunity by the universe to make things right. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yes, you're not being a fool. <laughs> yes, you're not being a fool anymore. But somebody is not being a fool in this situation. But I can tell you what. Somebody is not working towards this relationship anymore. And somebody doesn't want to be alone. And the both of you look at look when the both of you look back at this relationship, you'll have very fond memories of this relationship together. Because you'll be very happy when you were both in a relationship together. You could literally see a family together. You could see a future together. But then, the toxic behavior is what tore you apart. Perhaps it got too much. Perhaps there was a lot of jealousy. If there was control, there's always jealousy. You know what I mean? Let's take a look. From what I can see, there's a lot of stability between you two. You two, if you come together, you can achieve a lot. You're the, you're both a king and a queen in your own right, darlings. Here. Yeah. It's been, this, the kings and the queens have appeared in all areas. So, you're perhaps, I'll tell you what, you all were the perfect match and when two people and two strong individuals come together the energy is so strong in between them it could either blow them apart or if the energies are settled and calm they could come together and it could work towards a really really beautiful future but right now from what I can see there was a lot of friction which caused a lot of toxicity that pushed you apart and the universe came in between you and gave you a time out so that you could find your place find your peace make peace with that kind of behavior understand why you're behaving that way you know maybe the love got too much maybe the passion got too much yeah and then the intensity intensified so much that instead of getting you together it actually tore you apart sometimes it happens and the couple doesn't know why it's happened 
but it just happens. That's because the universe has intervened, right? So I see somebody will come rushing in. It's either you or the other person will come rushing in. Somebody just wants to avoid conflict. Somebody just wants to avoid the conflict. They are sick of the conflict. They cannot handle it. Every time something there's a disagreement, there's no understanding. There's only conflict. And they are trying to avoid it. They're trying not to take any action towards it. Trying. <laughs> Try to leave all the conflicts and the burdens behind. But I tell you what. If both of you decide to leave all the burdens, all the conflict, all the arguments, all the rubbish behind, yeah, it's completely and totally unnecessary. It's coming out of a place of fear. It's, all these conflicts is coming out of insecurities. It's so evident. You're a very stable individual otherwise, but when you're both together, there's some kind of friction, it's magical, but it's so under... You can't understand it and it's pushing you apart. But, I think you will reach a common ground. Or you'll want to reach a common ground. You'll be thinking about it. One is thinking about leaving the situation, you know. Communicating, I want to leave the situation behind. I want nothing to do with it. And the other is not taking any action. But you are advised to take it slow. Yeah. Bring a bit of sense of humor. Bring a bit of humor in the... If you are talking or if there's little to no communication. Yeah. Try and approach each other with a sense of humor, bring out the playfulness back in the relationship. We meet up for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Yeah, have a bit of banter, have a bit of fun. Recapture the romance. Hmm? This could probably lead to an engagement, or perhaps you were engaged before. Right. You both want to leave the conflicts behind. It is very evident that you both want to leave the conflicts behind. Yes. You're coming out of a period of contemplation and thinking. You want to stay away. You're guarding, guarding yourself away from all this nonsense. And if you are able to put it all behind you, I guarantee you, you will come together again in love. But I also warn you, if you want to be back together again, you need to have faith. And not only that, You need to leave all your past behind. There is a warning from the universe, darling. Leave your past behind if you want to be together again. Okay? Because it's evident there's a lot of baggage from your past. Yes, coming out of heartbreak. Very nice. I'm happy for you. Now, again there's a warning, <laughs> leave your past in the past, do not bring it up again. When you're having a bit of playful banter, when you're recapturing a bit of romance, leave the past where it is, in the past. Do not bring up any kind of subject regarding the past that is hurtful, that is full of conflicts. It will lead you back into that situation, to the same old cycle again. Yeah, if you feel you're not ready for communication, if you feel you're not ready to communicate with this person, leave it. Leave it for some time till you're ready. 
yeah if you feel you're going to bring it up again where you're going to cause conflicts or where any uh, kind of uh, <clears throat> what do you call it you know you could say uh, for example you have it inside you it's, it's troubling you inside saying that you have to tell this person of what they've done or remind them of what they've done you know don't do it if you're if you've not healed yourself and you still want to say something that's hurtful to the other person don't do it take time out heal yourself first when you're ready when you pass the stage of anger and upset and you know you look at the situation from a loving point of view again then that would be a right time to meet again because If you meet at the wrong time, darling, it will cause a major upset. Okay? It would cause you a major upset and then there is no... It will just prolong the cycle, basically. Because it's evident you both love each other, it will just prolong it. So it's better to leave the past behind. Okay. So it looks like in the future, Someone will come rushing in with some kind of truth. Alright. What's the truth about? Yes. They need the strength. Quite worried. They are worried they will lose you. Or you you are worried that you will lose them. So they're rushing in. But you need a lot of strength. Because you are trying to avoid conflict. Oh dear. You're worried. Hmm? You need the strength. Because there is somebody here who's going to place some demands on you. They will speak their truth. They will speak their truth as to the as to what they want from this relationship. Okay? They will not hold on to their fears anymore. They will not hold on to what they've got. They will just speak their truth. They will not hold on to their words anymore. They will not hold back, I tell you, when the words come pouring out of their mouth. There was a warning. So, you have been warned. Be prepared. One of the partners is going to speak their truth while the other comes rushing in. Try and avoid conflict as much as possible. If you think you can diffuse the situation by just listening, stay quiet. Do not respond unnecessarily. Be the bigger person. Okay? If you can be the bigger person, you will need the strength, I can see, it's worrying you. But you will take action towards this person, you will move towards this person. Yeah, the moment you get an inkling, they want to talk to you, you will move towards this person. But be prepared. Arm yourself with wisdom. Arm yourself with the wisdom that you can stay calm in a situation that's so volatile. Yeah, and you can just lend a listening here. No matter what the words come out of this person, listen to it all. And at the end of the at the end of the conversation or the conflict, just stay there and say, "I love you, darling." No matter what you say, and that will be the end of it all. That will diffuse the whole situation, darlings. Okay? Because then love prevails. Okay, love will prevail. It's so evident you love each other, but when you all come together, there is such a big ball of energy between you because both of you are such powerful individuals in your own right. Okay, I wish you luck. Sounds good to me, but there's a lot of learning that has to be done. There's a lot of things that, that somebody wants to say. 
There was a lot of toxicity before in the situation. Control. Loosen up the control, darlings. Taurus, you're a Taurus. I know how much you love to control. Hmm? You all know how much you love to control, Mr. Bull. Bull in a china shop. <laughs> right? If it is you who is the one who's controlling, yeah? Loosen the reins. Or let go of the reins. There shouldn't be any reins in a relationship. Yeah? Let go of control. And let... And when you're faced in the future with this communication and a chance to meet a bit of humor. Okay? And if the person has a lot to say, chill. On that day, Especially when you're about to meet, do yourself a favor and take a chill pill. All right? All right, darlings. That's all I have to say to you with regards to your tarot pool. So, let's see what Archangel Michael has to say about your situation for this time window of 15 days. Mm, he says... <coughs> My darling Tauruses, <coughs> excuse me, it says decide to be happy now and forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. So you got to forgive yourself <laughs> and be prepared. <laughs> right. So here's what Archangel Michael has to say. Thank he says decide to be happy now. So please repeat this prayer after me. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Sorry. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Yes, my darling, darling Tauruses. You're such a bull, I tell you, such a bull. Mm. I hope you're not being a bully over here. Right. All right, darling Tauruses. Let's see. Ooh, you've got the card of mindfulness for, in terms of servant leadership. And, <clears throat> ooh, in terms of personal growth, you got through greatness <clears throat> let's see um, what you get for ooh, relationships real friendship you know what's that's what's been running through my mind throughout this reading excuse me but I've got to say this you are such strong individuals you two like if you all came together in a business partnership for example man you all put together would have been a real power, power couple. Hmm? Real friendship. So, I would suggest if you build this relationship, if you get a chance, yeah, avoid the conflicts and be friends for some time. Build the relationship on a bit of friendship. Okay? Go out, have fun. You know, be friends. For a while and once you're strong enough and you'll know for sure your feelings are you know so great that you fall in love again take it slow it will happen you too my darlings you'll be like a formidable team i'll tell you right now you're dealing with an earth sign your dealing is so strong, so strong, so strong here. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with an earth sign. There's a bit of air as well over here, but not as much as this earth sign, darling. Here you are, King of Pentacles. And here she is, the Queen of Pentacles. Together, you can see already what you can be. 
okay all right so let's read the my uh, the card of mindfulness for servant leadership it says here the true value of human life lies not in the number of years one lives but in the quality of one's consciousness moment by moment quality quality of consciousness darling be mindful of what comes out of your mouth all right then in personal growth it says true greatness a curse can become a priceless blessing if we appreciate how to grow in a difficult situation the true greatness of a person can be estimated by how they respond to challenging situations you're going to be faced with a challenging situation here darling Taurus right here in your near future make sure you're standing in your true greatness darling it says here clearly I'm repeating it again because it applies it so applies to you darling it says here a curse can become a priceless blessing you can turn this all into a blessing darling if you appreciate how to grow in a difficult situation the true greatness of a person can be estimated by how they respond how you respond to a challenging situation oh darling Taurus brace yourself and be prepared all right let's see in relationships all oh, says here real friendship real friendship be a true friend to others one who is there to uplift the spirit during both the best and worst times such friendships bring happiness and illumination isn't that beautiful Taurus what more can I say what more can I say I wish you all the best and I wish you all the strength and I wish you all the patience and I wish I could give you a chill pill all right <laughs> when you have to face the situation all right my Tauruses I love you I hope you enjoyed my reading until the next time I hope you tune in again. Take care and God bless.